I've got a friend, he's a big competitive shooter, and he goes camping for days at a time, and he's got to pack his food in to these competitions. Pre-packaged food can get kind of boring unless it's really good stuff. He vouches for this stuff from good to go. So I traded some of my homemade salt pork for a couple of these packages. I know he got a good deal. Let's see if I did. What a lot of other companies do is they freeze dry the ingredients and then combine them in the package and then you cook that. What these people do at good to go is they cook the meal with their ingredients and then they dehydrate that. There are no preservatives because the dehydration process itself prevents the growth of pathogens. Let's take a look at the herbed mushroom risotto. These are all good ingredients. Rice, mushrooms, onions, white wine, extra virgin olive oil, you know, salt. I'm not gonna read them all, but just point out there's nothing in there you can't pronounce. All of it is food. Every calorie you get out of this is from real food that came out of nature. And it's made in Maine, USA. The price is really not unreasonable if you figure what you're getting. Uh, this is $6.50 retail. This is $5.75 retail for the smoked three bean chili. Those prices are pretty much in line with what you are gonna pay for a prepackaged meal that you're gonna pack into some way. I mean, that's really convenient. And so if this turned out to be, you know, good tasty food, I think you're getting a lot of value. We'll find out. For the moment, none of their meals have any meat, but they're going to start packaging some with meat soon. I'm gonna try the herbed mushroom risotto. 410 calories, 90 of those from fat, from the extra virgin olive oil which is a perfectly good fat. Gluten-free, vegetarian. We're gonna add some meat to it, see how it is. Now, here's the meat. What we have here is pancetta. Now, the way you make pancetta is a little different than what you do with bacon. You do take a pork belly slab, trim it out, and uh, make it, you know, square it up, make it look like a nice bacon. And you season it differently than you do a bacon. Here you add rosemary, juniper seeds, cracked pepper, garlic. You cure that for about a week, in a package in the refrigerator, flipping it daily, and then you take it out, you wash all that stuff off, you flip it over so that the meaty side is up, you dust it with black pepper, and then you roll it up as tight as you can get it, and tie it as tight as you can. Then you put it in a cool, humid environment to dry for a couple or three weeks. It should lose about a quarter to a third of its weight. All right, so that's pancetta. This one's not ready yet, but <laughs> I can't wait. So I'm gonna slice off a little bit and cut it into pieces. I'm gonna cook that separately and add the cooked pieces to the risotto. When you're right at the end, there'll be some parts like this that you can see air. You don't want that, but it's kind of unavoidable right at the end. So as I get into it, I'm hoping that that's gonna be good and tight. If you're gonna be packing this, you're better off to take some bacon. Go ahead and cut up the bacon into bits. But all that stuff has been cooked to a temperature of about 150 degrees. You can hike with it for a few days. This stuff has never been cooked. It's only cured. It hasn't even finished drying. I'm not gonna put it in the package without cooking it first. Okay, I wouldn't mind doing that with the salt pork and my bacon. But with this pancetta, I'm gonna pre-cook it. So this is regular smoked bacon, and it's been cooked to a temperature of 150 degrees. So you could eat this raw. This one, not so much. I wouldn't do it until it was fully cured. I'd wait until it was dry. Of course, I'm not gonna recommend to anybody that they eat uncooked meat. I'm just telling you that I do it, and this is fine. Once this is cured, once it's dehydrated enough, this pancetta is gonna be okay to eat raw for me. Okay, not for you, you can't do that. but. I can do it. Bressaola is usually beef round. So here I have a big old beef round and it's curing in this package. This Bressaola has been in the fridge for a week curing. Today what I'm supposed to do is take these out, dump the liquid, wash it off, and then put the other half of the seasoning mix that I mixed up, 
stick it back in the fridge for another week, flipping it every day. When that's done, I'm gonna hang it to dry in a cool, humid environment. Why humid? Because the outside needs to dry slowly so that the moisture on the inside can get through, penetrate the outer layers, and dry out. If you put this in a dry environment, the outside is gonna dry quickly, seal the moisture on the inside, and rot. They claim a two year shelf life for this stuff. Now, I know a little bit about commercial food processing, and it is my opinion that that's probably a little conservative. So, I personally am not gonna feel bad if I come across this thing in four or five years. I don't mind trying it. it. Might affect the flavors a little bit. We'll find out about that, but anyway. So it says, tear this pouch open and remove the oxygen absorber. Good idea. Okay, so here we have an oxygen absorber. Now it says, add one and a quarter cups or 300 mils of boiling, yes, boiling water to the bag. It says, yes, boiling. I'm gonna fill this up to 300 mils. Add that to the bag. Carefully. Man, that smells good. All right, I'm gonna add the bacon. I'm gonna add the grease too. <laughs> Why not? Reseal the package and then hang out for 20 minutes. It says, think about how big the universe is. Okay, so let's go think about how big the universe is. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. I can't wait to taste this. Package still feels warm. Okay, it looks a little soupy in there. You know, there's one thing it says to do that I forgot to do, and that is stir it. But I'm gonna go ahead and stir it now. See if that thickens up. It probably would have thickened up better if I had stirred it. All right, here we go. Let's try it. You can taste the pesto. That's not bad. Let's try it again. I'm gonna get a piece of bacon with it. This is really good. If you were making this dish at home, you wouldn't dehydrate it and then rehydrate it and eat it. You know, it's not the kind of thing you would do unless you had to because it's better, you know, fresh. It's got better texture and the, the flavors are, um, you know, more, more alive. I have to say that for a packaged food, <laughs> This is really good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is really good and that when I traded some of my homemade salt pork for some of this good to go herbed mushroom risotto, we both got a good deal. I'm happy to recommend this. I don't sell it. I'm just telling you because I think it's good and I wanna share that information with you. If you wanna support a good business that makes an excellent product in the USA at a reasonable price for something that is really practical, then uh, I think this company is good to go. Okay, I want to eat this while it's hot. So, Snowman here. Thanks for watching. Go to the blog survivalnewsonline.com. I'll see you there.